Hey guys, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Riptide by Vance Joy on the ukulele. This is a perfect song for beginners because it's really simple, only requires a couple of chords, but you know, it's still a nice fun song to play. So the very first thing you want to do is you need to make sure your ukulele is tuned properly. You want the first string to be tuned to a G, the second string to be tuned to a C, the third string to be tuned to an E, and the bottom string to be tuned to an A. So that's... You can either find tuners online or just do it by ear. Now that that's done, I'm going to teach you how to play the four chords that we use in Riptide. The first chord is A minor and it's really simple. You simply take your first finger and put it on the top string on the second fret. Each of these little markings is called a fret. So you want to put it in the second fret, first string, first finger. And then that sounds like this. The second chord is a G chord and this is a little bit more complicated. You want to take your first finger, put it on the second string on the second fret. You want to take your second finger and put it on the bottom string on the second fret. And then you want to take your third finger and put it on the third string on the third fret. So that sounds like this. The next chord is a C chord and that's also really easy. You want to take your first finger, put it on the bottom string on the third fret and strum. This final chord is an F chord which we only use twice in the song but you still need to know it. So you take your first finger and put it on the third string on the first fret and then you take your second finger and you put it on the first string on the second fret. And there you go, those are all the chords you need to know to be able to play Riptide. For the majority of the song we use a simple chord progression containing the A chord, the G chord and the C chord. So we play A for one bar, G for another bar, and then we play C for two bars. We're going to apply this to the strumming pattern now. The strumming pattern that is used for most of the song is down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. The beats of this are one, two, and four, and. If anyone finds it easier to get the strumming pattern based on the rhythm and timing rather than just by ear. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna slowly apply this strumming pattern to the chord progression, which is A minor, G, and C. A minor, down, down, up, down, up, and then a G, down, down, up, down, up, C, down, down, up, down, up, C again, down, down, up, down, up. And so you want to practice that until it all flows nicely like this. The chorus has a slightly different strumming pattern, which helps give the song a bit of diversity because it's all just the same chord progression. Now this strumming pattern is very similar, but it's down, down, up, up, down. So it just adds in an extra up strum to make, it, make things a little bit different and fun. If you struggle with strumming patterns, you don't have to do this. You can just use the one strumming pattern I taught you earlier for the verse and the chorus. So now we're just going to put all of this together. I'm going to put the lyrics down the bottom of the screen as well as the chords up here so that you can follow along. The reason the lyrics will be on screen is because I can't sing. We're just going to play the intro, the first verse and this first chorus. So that is the intro, the verse and the chorus. You're then going to go back and play another verse and another chorus. 
If this is too confusing, don't worry. There are links down below of um, with the song written out with the chords for you to follow along with the structure, so that will be a lot easier for you. Now, after the second chorus, we go into the bridge. This is really the only part of the song that's different. After the second chorus, there is four bars of finger picking, but because this is a beginner's tutorial, I'm not gonna teach you that. We're just gonna strum each chord once at the start of each bar. So you just wanna go A minor, G, C, and hold the C for two bars. Now for the second part of the bridge, we're gonna use the same strumming pattern as before, which is down, down, up, down, up, but it has a slightly different chord progression. Instead, what we're gonna do is play each chord twice, and this time we're including the F chord, which I taught you earlier. So what we're gonna do is you play A minor for two bars, G for two bars, C for two bars, and then F for two bars. Then you're just going to strum A minor, G, C, A minor again, G, C. Now we're just going to play the bridge together so that you can get a better feel for it. And again, the lyrics will be on the screen as well as the chords up there so that you can keep up and understand where we're at. Then after the bridge, you're just gonna play the chorus twice and that's it, you've done the song. Now I'm just gonna play the entire song through with you so that you can get a good feel of the structure of the song and hopefully play along with me.
And so there you go. That is how to play Riptide by Vance Joy for beginners on the ukulele. Please let me know if you enjoyed this tutorial by giving it a thumbs up and leaving a comment below. This is my first one, but I do play the ukulele and the guitar, so if you have any other beginner suggestions, I'm happy to take them and try and help you guys. Don't forget to look at the links down below of the chords online so that you can follow the structure and the song through easier without having to watch the video, if that's how you prefer to learn. Thanks! <laughs> Bye!